Uh, what's up scrappers? Yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on um, batteries that we come across scrapping. Um, we come across all sorts of different kind of batteries. Um, just thought I'd do a little video to see where we can get rid of them, where to recycle them, and what have you. So um, yeah, if we start with the, um, the car battery, the lead acid battery. So you get these out of cars and USP systems. So I'm um, just going to weigh this one because the rest ain't worth weighing. So as you can see, that's nearly 17 kilos for this one battery. So um, at 67 per kilo, this battery's worth 11 pound 32. So like, if you're at a flea market or a car boot or something, and you can pick one of these up sort of really cheap, sort of a couple of pound, then yeah, it's worth picking them up because if you buy it for say three or four pounds, then you go take it to the scrap yard for 11 pound 32 for this one. So um, yeah, so these ones take to the scrapyard, weigh them in as lead acid batteries. So uh, if we go on to like laptop batteries next, so laptop and mobile phone batteries, they're the same thing. So they're lithium ion. So as you can see here, with this phone battery, so lithium ion battery, and then this one lithium ion, and where is it? Lithium ion. So with these batteries, you can take these to your scrapyard as well. So they should take these and give you a price for these. Uh, every scrapyard's different, so some scrapyards don't take lithium-ion batteries, some do. Uh, another way you can get rid of these is um, someone who refurbishes laptops. So they, they won't take the phone batteries, but the laptop batteries, they'll take them and uh, they'll refurbish them, so they'll reuse them in laptops. So uh, let's say if, yard, if your yard doesn't take them, then try and find someone who will refurbish them. In America, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think board sort, I think they might take them. Obviously, I'm no expert at that because I'm in the wrong country. So, um, yeah, that's what you can do with uh, laptop batteries. And then normal household batteries. So you've got like a D battery, AA battery. So these are just your standard batteries, household batteries. So all I do with these, I chuck them in a pot because I get them out of the remotes. I get them out of um, little handheld game things. Um, so yeah, I just chuck them in a pot and then all I use is this battery tester. So I got it off eBay. I think I paid about £1.80 for this. So it's really cheap. So all you do is chuck your battery in there. Try and do it one-handed. And this one, these batteries should be dead because I got them out of my uh, little box of the dead batteries. So yeah, as you can see, there's no charge whatsoever. Nah, so this one's totally dead. So uh, what you can do with these is uh, throw them in with your steel, your shred steel. Because as you can see, they're magnetic. There's nothing dangerous inside them. So yeah, you can chuck them in with your shred steel. Um, only, the, only these kind of batteries though. If they're the rechargeable ones, you can't, well you shouldn't put them in with your shred steel because they've got nickel inside them and they need recovering in a different way uh, so and then we've got button batteries which just want to say how dangerous these are if you've got kids keep these away from kids because kids seem to think they're smarties and if they eat them that's not good for them as everyone probably already knows so uh, these ones here I think these ones are lithium yeah so I don't know if that's going to focus in so you can see it there lithium battery so these ones are not worth anything really so um the only ones you want to keep an eye out for are the silver oxide batteries. So uh, I'll put a link in the description um, for a website and it tells you the codes of which ones will be silver oxide because they're worth about £25 a kilo. So uh, bearing in mind you probably need about 100,000 of them to, <laughs> to get a kilo but if you get a lot of, uh, lot of them it's worth going through. Um, also these silver ones, they... Um, they're always under half an inch. So if you have some sort of mesh which is like half inch, you can um, use that to get all the small ones. And then there's certain codes on this website where, like, so I'll put it in the description. And if they begin with L, C, um, I can't remember the letters to be honest, but it tells you which ones to pick out because they're just worthless. And uh, it tells you which ones to keep. So uh, with these, also, these are 
magnetic, so all I do is just chuck them in the shred steel. So uh, yeah, that's what I do with them ones. And then we have these ones, which, so this one here is a nickel cadmium, is it? Nickel cadmium? Not 100% sure if I'm um, pronouncing that right. So it basically just means it's a rechargeable battery. So I'm pretty sure that came out of some sort of phone. So, um, so yeah, that's a nickel cadmium. And then these ones here, so what's that one? Um, so it's a nickel, so it's got nickel in it and metal hydride. So basically these are the same things, just slightly different properties inside them. Um, there's nothing you can actually do with these, except from recycle them. So you need to take these to your recycle centre or some supermarkets now. They have the battery drop-in boxes. So it's best to recycle these properly. So uh, we're looking after the environment. Um, also, these are rechargeable batteries from a, a drill. So these are the same things. So I think if we, yeah, if you look there, I'm not sure if there it is. So it says NICD, so that's nickel cadmium, which again is the same as this one here, which is nickel cadmium. So basically these ones, all of them ones there need to be recycled properly. So these ones here, these can go in your shred steel, and these lithium ions, these uh, can go to be refurbished, or you can um, take them to your scrapyard if they accept them. But also, look, let's say with these ones you get the AA rechargeable batteries, they're the same as the nickel ones, so they need to be recycled properly. And then obviously the lead acid battery, we know what we do with that, take it to a scrapyard, weigh it in. So yeah, I just thought I'd do this video, just so people are recycling the right kind of batteries, really, helping the environment. Um, then that way, then this way you can take these ones to your shred steel, you can get, earn a little bit of money from there, because I've got a big box of batteries. So all I do is chuck them in an old microwave, shut the door, and take them like that. So yeah, hopefully you can make a, f a little bit more money with your lithium-ion batteries and make you 10 pence a kilo on your shred steel there so yeah guys hopefully this will help you out like so it's only a little video well, actually it's turned out to be a little bit longer than i thought so nearly eight minutes so yeah guys uh keep scrapping side ones you need to look out for so um basically they will be really small, they're less than half an inch in diameter, so if you've got some sort of mesh, you could use some sort of mesh which is less... Here it comes. So you can use some sort of mesh to try and get the smaller ones, then check them out. Wow. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me over this.